A word of thanks and appreciation to all of our athletes at the Gorifta Thames. They're doing extremely well. We congratulate them from the bottom of our heart. You know, anybody flying over the Bahamas right now will have to think they think they will have to think they see the Red Sea. And don't you forget what happened to those Egyptians who tried to pass through the Red Sea in their gold rush chariots. I am very happy to report to you this evening that the tide of red splash has turned into a massive surge of color red. The Hamians are catching the way from Managua to Marijuana to Atlas, Crooked Island, Long Key to Ragged Island, Cat Island, Rum Key into Salvador, Long Island, the wave is gathering momentum from Elutra and Exoma to Andrews and to Abaco. And the wave is building from the very islands in Bimini to Grand Bahama. And through the length and breadth of this island in Providence, Colorado is winning! <laughs> While our wave is a big one, we cannot and we will not take anything for granted. This general election, which is coming up very, very soon, will be a hard fought contest. The other side is very hungry. They are jonesing for your power. Don't be too comfortable. We have to fight for every vote in this country. You have to work without seizing. And there's no time for complacency. Never forget. Never forget. It's either us or them. You decide whether you like them better you like yourself. Because there ain't nothing in it for you if they win. So you decide who it's going to be. You or them. Today, I flew to Abaco to attend the World Splash event in Treasure And I report to you now, Abaco is ready! I just arrived back from Grand Bahama where color red is more than five splashes. It's a wave from East Grand Bahama to West Grand Bahama in Bimini. Grand Bahama is ready. In fact, the report I got from Bimini today is only the, only the blood could save Obi Wilskum. Nothing short of the blood. Abaco and Grand Bahama tell me they are on fire. They want to know whether Nassau is ready. Are you ready, Nassau? <laughs> Fellow Bahamians, this is springtime. Just as east is the time of renewal, a season of renewal is beginning in Bahama land. The times are still tough. There's still much work to be done. But we are moving in the right direction in terms of economic recovery and turning the corner in our fight against crime. I want to report to you that my government has completed its mandate. It is now time for the Bahamian people to decide in whose hands they will grant a new mandate for the governance of our country over the next five years. It is now time to transform Colorado's rising region tied into a tsunami of support. Leave none untouched. Leave none behind. Never forget that we are one for all and all for one. Our common purpose and shared battle is greater than our differences among ourselves. Don't forget, no fighting, no argument. I don't care who you like or you don't like, your color red, let's work together! We'll work it out later. We are a big tent party. We are rolling out the red carpet and welcome for all. For all, including a new generation of voters. To young voters everywhere in the Bahamas. The FNM is committed to helping to ignite your future.
I make a special appeal to every young person to join us as we gather together to build a 21st century Bahamas. You know, the fact of the matter is the largest percent of registered voters in the Bahamas is voters between the ages of 18 and 25. I thank the young people very much for coming forward and registering to vote. We have never had a larger block of young voters ever. You are the next generation of leaders, and I'm honored to have you in this party. I want you to know, I want to make space for you. I'm getting older now. I'm not trying to hang on to power. I want to have as many of you as is possible involved in the politics of this country. That's why I spent so much money on educating you, giving you better schools, good teachers, because I want you to carry the Bahamas forward. Come with me! And to the women of the Bahamas, let me say this. There's no question the FNM is a party for women. And there are 20,000 more women registered to vote than men. Give it back on the side this election. Women, come with me. I'm your man. I love you. That's my thought. I'm so To the men and to the workers and to the employers in the Bahamas and to all Bahamians and investors where they are Bahamian or foreigners, I want to assure you in the FNM there are no greasy palms and no sticky fingers, just straight business. That's the FNM way. And if I find one that's greasy or sticky, I'll chop it off. <laughs> and friends. Together we have accomplished much. We are holding firm and strong. We are moving the Bahamas, the Bahamas we love, steady sunward. As head of the government and head of the party, it is with deep gratitude that I thank you for your service and sacrifice. I especially thank many of you for your support and your prayers. I thank my wife Dolores and my family. They are both very short, you know. I thank them all. And I thank those I thank those crew members who made who made way for the newest members who are delivery team. All of those who are not running again and who made way. And lastly, and by no means least, I thank you, our faithful supporters, for without you you cannot you cannot succeed. <laughs> At this, new, at this moment, that is very hour, our delivery team is making ready to set sail to every port in the Bahamas, from Machu Town in Agua to Grand Key in Abaco. We need all hands on deck. Are you ready? Are you ready? Be not provoked. Victory will come. But it will only come through unity of purpose, unity of effort, and hard work. In the spirit of the founders of our great party, we are all together. From now until election day, I want you to fly your flags every day. Wear your t-shirts or color red whenever you can and whenever it is appropriate to do so. Let us conduct ourselves in an orderly and peaceful manner. To secure victory, knock on every door. Talk to everyone. Take not a single voter for granted. And first tonight, this week, God willing, we'll meet at our home at RM Bailey Park.
For the mass rally for general election, come one and come all. On Saturday, we'll meet at the park in Addison, Ken Island at 6 p.m. And on Saturday night, we'll meet in Grand Bahama for another mass rally at our Grand Bahama home, Sunrise Shopping Centre. Color Red is energized. Color Red is ready to win and is ready to serve. In the FNM, as you know, be delivered. Finally, tomorrow, I'll meet my cabinet in the morning, and the after, I'll make a national address, and I'll ring the bell. Are you ready? Are you ready? Every time, every time I ring the bell, you count. It means seven. Each time you hear the bell ring, it means seven. No more toy bell. No more, no more bad boys in school who get the hand on the teacher bell. The real bell will ring tomorrow. Thank you very much. Good night. God bless all of you and God bless the Bahamas. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah.